I watched another Netflix original movie or exclusive movie. You ever want to say that? Um, I watched Outside the Wire. What? Do you remember? Do you know what I'm talking about? The Wire, like the TV series? No, no, no. This is Outside the Wire. Very different. <laughs> uh, it, oh, that's not. Did it really come out this year? I guess it came out this year, 2021. But it was Anthony Mackie, and he's like the the android. Do you do you recall this? No. It's on Netflix. Nope. Wait. This guy's Captain America and Iron Man. Uh, now, yeah. Yeah, fuck, he could do everything. Um, yes, he can. <laughs> but he's, instead of Iron Man... And he rap battled against Eminem? Yeah, and he won once. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anthony Mackie, he plays like this, like, kind of super soldier, basically, because he's an android, so he's, like, enhanced, so he can punch really hard and everything. Uh, Wait, it, that makes you enhance? I can punch really hard. I mean, harder than Anthony Mackey. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. How do you know? You fought him? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Heard it here first. <laughs> That's right. Uh, so, he's an android. It's the near future because we don't have androids yet that we know of. Uh, he looks, he's like an experiment, basically, basically, for the U.S. government. For more Governor, yeah. Hey, have you heard about them? Uh, they must be new. Yes, I like them uh, better than ours. So the the Governor, they created this android, and like they want them for, you know, war. And there is a civil war going on, and like kind of like in the U- European nations uh, with the U- Ukraine, apparently. And obviously, the U.S. military, their army forces, have to get involved to like try to maintain the peace right so that's it sounds like a bruce willis movie yes but it's anthony mackie <laughs> so it's it's that's the background for that this, this is the backdrop and then you have this guy um oh man i forget his name but uh i i seen him before in some other things and i didn't write it down um but he plays like a drain a drone pl- uh, pilot he goes on and they're like on this mission and Basically, he's like almost like an android himself, where he's kind of like uh, doesn't have like feelings because there's this like uh, people under attack and like all right, well let's let's figure out this situation. There's a guy trapped behind enemy, enemy lines, and he's like, I need to stop this because they're trying to gun down his other team. I'm gonna wipe out everyone. Well, not everyone, like save the people, the masses, basically, the group, the squad. Uh, but I'm going to take out that one guy that's already been injured. So they couldn't save him. And so they're all pissed off at this guy. And this guy gets reassigned to Anthony Mackey into the war zone, which, I mean, he's just a drone pilot. So he's pretty much playing a video game. And and so, like, you're like, you need to see, like, the shit, you know? You need to see what's actually going on and you don't understand the full concept because you're just behind a computer screen and you just killed this guy, which wasn't warranted. Sure, you saved everyone else, but you didn't try. You didn't think about this guy's life. So you're very like cold hearted, basically. And so he gets with Anthony Mackie. They're on this like special mission because he's like his own captain, basically. You know, he's an android and like. I guess the the government lets them do whatever he wants. Fucking government. Yeah, they don't care about this. The government's controlling that fan to you, not me. Well, it's still not putting out enough. <laughs> so. Fucking government. Yes. Uh, so they go. They they had like pretty much let this android do whatever he, the fuck he wants, and so he picks out this guy. He's like, I want him on my team, and so he now he, it's a it's a uh, a wolf pack of two. And they go out and they're trying to find um, this nuclear bomb that's out there. And they're trying to prevent it to get into the bad guy's hands, basically. Um, And so that's their whole mission throughout this film. They go through. They're trying to find it. Uh, Anthony Mackie kind of shows like the other sides of what's going on with this war and how all these people are getting affected by like the involvement just from the U.S. government or government. Sorry wrong word yeah um 
Get it straight. And uh, uh, and it just goes from there. And um, I, I thought I was on board for probably like seventy five percent of this film, and then they lost me in those last twenty five percent where they just got a little bit too clever, mm-hmm. and they went away. But uh, from like the overall theme that I thought they were going for and they made it so weird and I really want to kind of spoil it because I kind of spoiled your film. (laughs) Do it. Okay. Uh, And I don't even think this this isn't much because I feel like it kind of happens on like maybe like halfway through the film or something, but I was still on board for 75. Uh, Anthony Mackie, I mean, what happens when robots are in control? Right, they see things in a different light. Correct? They overtake the government. Yes. Yeah. They think they're wrong. The and government. So, yeah. Well, the government is wrong. Exactly. So, so the android figures out how to like bypass like some of his programming and and wants to use that nuclear weapon to destroy the government because you know they're they're using violence. And their violence isn't ha- helping the situation, and so he wants to like teach him a lesson. Basically, he sees in a different view light or a uh, spotlight, uh, and so that's that's the whole premise. That's the twist in the film, which kind of pissed me off. I'll be honest; it pissed me off in that film, and so that's why I think this is good warning for you if you have not seen this film and you watch it. Uh, now you won't be shocked by that and be kind of pissed off because you're like. Wait, you're totally going down one direction. And now you just you totally changed it, man. They 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 it just switched up on you. So, uh, that was the main part that I really disliked, and that's why I only like it seventy five percent. This is almost a Netflix original that went the whole nine yards. Going back to Evan's review, nine whole nine yards. Um, I think mine went the whole nine yards. I see. I disagree with. I again I think it would be better as a series. I, I thought they they meandered around too much around certain things and it was kinda like uh so overall, over. let me ask you a question. Overall with Netflix original movies, are you satisfied with them? A hundred percent or seventy five percent or fifty percent? I would say probably more often than not, I'm gonna go closer to fifty percent. Like, they're hit or miss, aren't they? Exactly. There's some that are, you you can be like, man, that was really good, but there's just something that's fucking missing from this. And then there's some where you're just like, hey, throw the keyboard. I don't know why I did that because it was magnetic. <laughs> and that's your keyboard to your iPad. Let me see if I could summon it. Nope. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I've for most. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's what happens when you throw the, the keyboard uh, I don't even know you could do that <laughs> yeah. uh, no like I'm most that was a Netflix segment exactly it was a mess and most <laughs> and they are messes dude like there's so many movies I've been like so like like ready to see and I thought like dude this is gonna be it like like uh, final no, right. triple frontier or something uh-huh. bright actually I think bright probably hits that 75 percent for me right was there yeah it was but close not there enough exactly that's yeah. why like that's old, a good series old guard out of, uh outside of the wire um bright we're all like in that 75 percent could you imagine if they made a uh expendables netflix universe movie i'll do that see that would be good see, that would hit the 100 percent. probably yeah, yeah. Exactly. and then they could make all these weird spin-off movies yeah netflix I like you guys got a lot of money. Like the only movies We're I really pretty fucking smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the only, I mean, what films on Netflix would you really say go beyond the seventy five percent? I honestly, I mean, Stranger Things, but that's a series. Uh, again, series, and I'm, I'm talking Ozark. about movies. <laughs> but that's a series. The series, they, they're really good at the series for the most part. Yeah, make uh, some series about these. I'd like except I for stupider Jupiter or whatever. Oh yeah, stupider <laughs> Jupiter. <was> stupid. <laughs> don't make that a series. Um, no, but like, oh, God, like the ones I really liked from Netflix has probably been like the Babysitter uh-huh. and uh, the Babysitter Returns or whatever that's called. And I would also like those as a series. Yeah, they would have been good as a series as because well. Because I would like S- S- uh, Samara Weaving 
more on screen as a hot chick, not a weird, like, cracked out chick. Agreed. <laughs> Hang loose. <laughs> no, that's that's a good idea. We're oh. side to side now. This is oh, a, okay. We're smart. I, I thought that was Hang Loose. <laughs> Give us monies. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I would recommend this movie. There, There's a lot of plot, plot holes in this film. The character development's not there, like... The and maybe that I'm just upset. Maybe I'm the one that has the issue. Maybe because they did this crazy plot twist that like I get pissed off about it. I'm not sure. Uh but I only still feel like it hits that seventy five percent mark. Because it, it just the twist came out of nowhere and I didn't feel like they were really like like hinting towards that. And I don't I don't like that. I don't like those twists. So I uh, I don't know. Seventy five percent in on uh outside the wire on netflix so there you go it's pretty fucking cool <laughs> yes it is <laughs>